Hi, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and today we're going to be looking at the trigger point of the week called the Extensa Carpi Radialis Brevis. There we go. So there's a longus and a brevis. Um, and why, why the brevis? Well, um, repetitive strain injury, RSI, or sort of overuse, overload, uh, sort of uh, problems for extensors of the wrist. Um, associated also with uh, lateral epicondylalgia or lateral epicondylopathy or sort of tennis elbow. But, but actually, uh, we talk a lot these days about um, uh, sort of tennis elbow and, and wrist pain associated with the use of a mouse uh, or actually with the use of sort of cell phones as well with, with some of these thumb uh, pollicis tendons as well. So an important muscle in terms of overuse and important to distinguish the brevis from the longus in fact. So let's see if we can search this amazing software and find extensa carpi radialis brevis now. Um, okay, takes its origin from the, the common extensor origin um, uh, in the sort of lateral epicondyle region but importantly uh, inserts into the third metacarpal bone. Why is that important? Because it, it, um, it sort of de slightly deviates the wrist uh, radially, but it also uh, is an extensor of the wrist. So in fact, when we're looking at a, a wrist extension overuse, so someone that's with a mouse, they're, they're constantly pressing the mouse button, or even someone with playing tennis where you're getting this constant flexion, if there's no deviation from side to side and it's this repetitive flexion, it's the brevis that we have to look out for as opposed to the longus or, or, or brachioradialis. Um, so uh, again, uh, it has quite an extensive uh, path and in terms of the muscle itself, the belly of the muscle is unipennate and the belly of the muscle uh, is quite long, but it, when you're trying to find it, um, it, it's a small flat kind of muscle and it's quite difficult so so generally what we do is we, we, we go sort of brachialis and then we have uh, from the brachialis we have the next string along is the uh, extensor carpi longus and then just lateral to that is the brevis oh we can feel it and when you press it out you can feel it uh, radiating pain to the back of the wrist so so here's the pain map importantly so in terms of trigger point pain maps pain in the dorsum of the wrist, uh, pain at the back of the wrist, which again is a, a common symptom that people do report with, with the kind of overuse injuries. Um, trigger points can be from, as we said, from repetitive sort of mouse using computer keyboard, people sitting in offices, and again from, from the extensors, from gripping, from tennis, from uh, um, unscrewing objects, from overusing uh, um, power tools. Um, also, uh, quite common in, in therapists that do massage, a lot of soft tissue massage, we find a lot of osteos, physios, chiropractors tend to have uh, trigger points in the extensor carpi radius brevis muscle as well. Um, when it's symptomatic, it can cause a kind of weakness in the wrist as well. So sometimes when you sort of do some force sort of extension, go against wrist extension, you feel that there's a weakness and it will tend to sort of activate that trigger point there. So when we talk about RSI, repetitive strain, this actually is the muscle, uh, the main muscle to look for in terms of trigger points. Not that you can't get it in the other wrist extensors, but it's the brevis that actually is the one uh, we tend to get the best results with treating. So trigger point of the week, extensor carpi radialis brevis, uh, wrist pain, uh, dorsal wrist pain, uh, back of the hand pain, uh, repetitive strain injuries, and uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that this week and look forward to the next thrilling installment of the Trigger Point of the Week. Thanks for joining us. Bye.